Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Friday morning, 30 minutes to go until that opening bell. And right now we got markets in the green to start off Friday trading. NASDAQ futures up 99 points at 10,611. NASDAQ leading the way up almost a full percent. You have the S&P up about five tenths percent, up 17 points at 32.12. The Dow up 114 points. That's four tenths percent in the green, 26,667. Crude off about 25 cents, but holding up pretty well at $40.69. Gold up 720, catching a little bit of a bid recently, up at 1807 for the price of gold. And we'll start things off by taking a look at the VIX this morning. This market charges higher. The S&P sitting at 32.11. We're getting a VIX with a 26 handle this morning, 26.44. Jumping around to the stories of the morning, it is earnings season still. We'll jump to the headlines and we'll start it off with BlackRock. Profits jumping 21% on fixed income boosts. These fixed income trading houses are uh, taking in money, making money. Asset managers, fixed income funds took in 60 billion dollars in new money. They took in 24 billion in cash management. BlackRock ended the quarter with 7.32 trillion, bringing those numbers for assets under management with a big number in the fixed income funds that they run. Jumping back to Netflix, how about it? So it's remarkable, you know, their price per for, for perfection, folks. Earnings per share, they miss $1.59 versus $1.81. Revenue, they beat 6.15 versus 6.08. Global paid net subscribers, more than 10 million versus 8.26. But guess what? They said next 90 days, we're only going to add 2.5 million subscribers. And the market was looking for 5.27. Look at the last two quarters they've had. But guess what? Look at Netflix shares and look how it was priced into the market. But guess what, folks? We're only, what are we now? We're only $35 in the red right now after being down at 449. You're talking about $44 off of the lows that we had initially on that market low on their news. But again, to back things up, just for the calendar year, 2020, if we start it, you came into the year at about $320 on Netflix. This volatility, if we open at 490, yeah, that only brings you back, folks, to where we were trading at uh, on the 14th. What is that? Tuesday? <laughs> Not bad, right? All right, folks, stay tuned. We got our man Larry Pesavento coming up live next. Should be an interesting market open. S&P's positive by 17. NASDAQ positive by 106. Dow positive by 110. Stay tuned, folks. Larry Pesavento coming up live right now.